Good morning, you guys. Okay, it is 10, 10 a.m. It is Saturday morning, and I have to bring Kai to some lessons by myself again. Mike is off um, delivering a piece of furniture that his boss had him make him, um, but his boss lives like two hours away, so <laughs> Mike is gone for most of the day once again. So I am here alone with the kids. I have a sink full of dishes. I have to go to some lessons. I have to get all of the birthday supplies for Kaya for her birthday party next weekend. We're gonna go to Target again because I need her to show me what like her favorite toys are right now because I'm not really sure um, like what she's wanting or if she wants other th other things besides toys. I don't like to get a ton of toys. Um, I, sometimes I like to get like blankets and things like that, but um, I need to get all the party supplies for her. So we have quite the day ahead of us. Figured I would bring you guys along with me to swim lessons and to Target once again. Um, and then tonight is a parents' night out, which is well, well needed. Um, anyways, so let's let's get going to swim lessons. Kaya, are you ready for swim lessons? Yes. Yeah. And I, and I broke it, and it was an accident. Yeah, she just broke her um, Elsa. What is it? It You're frozen karaoke box. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions lately too as to which diaper bag I'm using this fall. Um, and this is my Miss Fong. This is the original diaper backpack that I had. I switched over to this for the fall for all of my like, um, like kid needs, whatever. And then this is actually Kaya's swim bag. So this is what we bring to swim lessons every Saturday. And then this is what I will still use when I am going out. This is my Teddy Blake handbag. Um, I really enjoy this for going out. Um, it makes me look all cute and professional too when I'm at work. Um, anyways, so this is what I'll be toting around this weekend. Um, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys really quick because I do get a lot of questions as to which bag I'm using for the season. Um, speaking of a seasonal change, um, I'm actually going to be, hi, are you smiling at me? I'm actually going to be um, chopping my hair next week and um, doing something crazy with it. So stay tuned for that craziness. I'm really excited because it's getting like, I like my hair long and don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna like chop it, chop it, but it's getting to the point where, I don't know, I'm thinking probably to about here with a bunch of like fun like layers. I don't know though, we will, we'll see. And like this underneath layer, this is actually my natural color, my natural hair color, you guys. Um, but I don't dye the underneath of my hair because for me, this underneath section has always been super fragile. So when I do highlight it, it just kind of turns into like shriveled up frizz. So um, my hairstylist and I over the past like five years have been trying to get this to grow out and we finally have gotten it to come all the way to the end. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave this, but um, yeah, stay tuned and see what I do with this crazy mane. I just, I think like medium hair looks like better on me. Medium or like ultra long, like extensions. Um, but extensions are a little bit different than like me naturally growing my hair out because I feel like extensions give me more volume versus if I let my natural hair grow out, it just seems like, I just look like a wet rat sometimes. So anyway, but all right, I wanna stop touching my hair before it gets too greasy. I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on my hairs. Okay, tell them all about today. What are you gonna learn? I'm gonna learn some lessons. You're gonna learn some lessons? What kind of some lessons? From my teacher. From your teacher? Yeah. Are you gonna learn to go underwater? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or are you pretty good at going underwater already? I would. I just want to jump. I know you want to jump. We're gonna jump. You get to jump at the very end, okay? So remember Chop Chop Timber? They let you do that. Yeah. What else are you gonna learn? You're gonna learn your your strokes with your arms, right? And how to swim really good, like a big girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What happens at the end if you do a good job? Um, do you get an award? Do you get a prize? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part about being in the pool? I can see teacher. Listen to your teacher. What's your favorite part? Okay. My favorite part is the pier. Okay. Okay. 
Tadi udah selamat Selamat teman-teman, bye-bye You guys, <laughs> we just got us. We just got out of swimming lessons. See, I can't even make words anymore. I am just like, my tongue is not. I'm <sighs> okay. Bringing these two to swimming lessons alone is so much work. The actual like swimming lessons itself is nice because Kaya like gets to swim. I get to sit on the sideline. I watch her. It's, I, I honestly, I love it. It's the getting showered afterwards. So then we go into the women's locker room and I'll shower her and she like bounces off the walls in there. She'll go from like shower to shower to shower to, to shower to shower and I'll like lather up her hair and then she'll be like, no mom, I'm gonna do it. And then she'll do it for a little bit, get soap in her eyes and then she's panicking because she has soap in her eyes. And so she's turning around all lathered up and soapy and she's trying to like, she's trying to like rinse her eyes like she's leaning over her brother with like bubbles and she's trying to get these bubbles out of her eyes and if she just would have listened to me and would have let me like rinse her off and bathe her like there would have been no bubbles in her eyes and i'm just and at the same time i'm like trying to be friendly and i'm like talking to the other moms who are like kind of going through the same thing kaya's usually the craziest one um but and then we got out here, Riker was starting to get fussy, Kaya was running all over the place on the rocks and wasn't listening, and there's cars everywhere, and I'm sweating by this point because I've like carried this heavy car seat all, all the way across the parking lot, carried two like big bags by myself, holding me. Kaya's hand in the other, and well, then I, I get to get to the vehicle. And by this time, so she's done with swim lessons at 11.30, by this time it's like 11.50. And then I lose my keys. In fact, I find them, get the kids in the vehicle, get into the vehicle, lose my keys again. By this point, I have to pee. I'm sweating profusely, like sweating. It's hot outside. It's like a good 80 degrees and I'm wearing like a sweater. You guys can laugh at me all you want. This is super pathetic. I'm like panicking, I'm anxious, I'm sweating, and this is mom life. Welcome to mom life. Mom life of a preschooler who's absolutely crazy and a baby. <laughs> to tell you guys really quick so when I was cleaning my vehicle I'm like wiping off the dash and I'm fully expecting bugs in there because we can only live on the edge of town and um, like there's a lot of bugs out there especially during um, harvest season which is always in the fall for those of you who are not from the Midwest area and like the farming area okay so I'm like wiping off the front of the vehicle and I was like okay that's a really big bug and I look a little bit closer 
and there were wings, you guys. It was a little bird, and a, ugh, it was so gross, and I felt so bad, but it was so gross. And then I started to get mad, because I was like, oh, I bet you my husband did it. Anyways, I don't know how to get it out of there. It's like stuck in the grill. I. Ugh, ugh. I am a hot mess, you guys. I'm a sweaty hot mess. That was a lot of work, and now I have to get ready um, for date night. So um, I've got the kids set up right now. Um, they're just sitting on the couch, hanging out. Kaya is having some snap pea snacks. And Riker's hanging out. Yes, you are. You're hanging out, having some puffs, and making a mess. Yeah, yes you are. Yes you are. Yes you are. Mm. I love you. I love you. Mm. So nice. I need some hugging. Are your friends coming over? Mm hmm If you guys liked this solo mom day in the life, please give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel before you leave. And then also, so I have a huge announcement for you guys. I am doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway and I am doing a giveaway of two, I'm doing a big giveaway for two items um, and those two items I did get today. I think I'm going to do a separate video for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway video but like I said I was going to announce it today. I've got two items that I'm giving away to a first and second prize winner. Um, so make sure again that you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on that video I was gonna include it in today's vlog, but today's vlog just got to be a little long So I'm gonna post that one probably Monday or Tuesday. So stay tuned for that And I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay. Bye guys <laughs>